is the algorithm of salvation. Many people misunderstand the algorithm of salvation according to the Bible because they don't understand the problem that salvation is trying to solve. So, as with computer science, with system analysis and design software engineering, we first have to have a clear understanding of the problem so that we can appreciate the solution and understand the dynamics and the reasons why these things are so in the solution. So let us start with the problem. The problem is sin. The problem is death. Death is the result of sin. Death is the result of separation from God. Sin separates us from God. When we are separated from God, we naturally die eventually. God is the source of life. God is the inventor of life. God created life. God maintains life. And when we are removed from God, life is also removed from us eventually. So, when sin happened, the question is, where did sin originate? Where did it start? It did not start in the Garden of Eden. It started in heaven. God created this great being, the great angel, the top of the angels named Lucifer. He was the topmost in beauty, in talents, and even in position. But because of his beauty, his heart became, his head became big. He developed pride in himself. God created in him perfectness. But because of the power of choice, he decided to be proud. And he started to want to be like Jesus, the Son of God. He was jealous. Why was he was not included in the creation, the plan of creation? He wanted to be like the Most High. And he started to question God little by little. He started to question God's character. God's government, he started to question God's law. He started to insinuate doubts about God, about God's perfect character, about God's perfect law, about God's government to the angels in heaven. And some angels believed. And the doubts, the insinuations became a little bit more open and then more open and then more open. And then it became really a uh, a fight in heaven between God and the evil angels and uh, one third of the evil angels were kicked out of heaven and they were thrown out of the heaven so sin started with Lucifer it is the transgression of the law and the punishment for sin is death now Lucifer tempted became Satan he tempted Adam and Eve, and because of that temptation, Adam and Eve sinned in Genesis 1, in Genesis 2, in Genesis 3. They sinned, and humanity fell. Now, everybody who inherits Adam and Eve's sinful nature is eventually going to die also, because sin affects the domain. It is inheritable, the nature of sin. Now, we are sinners by nature so the question is if this is the problem what is the solution what is the goal of the solution god's goal is to return to us the angels also hopefully to the especially humanity to the original image the before the pre-sin uh, state in, uh, according to Genesis, before Adam and Eve fell into sin, where they were su not supposed to die, there was no evil in this world, there were no lies, no death, no pain, no suffering. So, uh, our goal, God's goal, was to remove sin and to heal us of sin. Okay, The only way to do that is, there is called what we call substitution. If somebody sins, somebody can be a substitute. So, many angels in heaven, when humans sin, many angels in heaven volunteered to substitute. But, you know, they are not big enough to substitute for all the sins that we humans could create. 
could invent. There was only one possible solution to the unlimited number of scenes that we could generate. And that was also, it has to be an infinite solution, an infinite substitution to the punishment of sin. And the only one to qualify is an infinite one, who is Jesus Christ. So because of our sin, we are supposed to die. But because of Jesus Christ's substitution, we, we can escape eternal death. We might die temporarily. We, there is what we call the first death because of sin, people die. But the second death, which is eternal death, we can be exempted from the second death. That is why Jesus came to earth to demonstrate that humans can live through God's grace, through the power of God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, can live a sinless life. And he died as a substitute for our eternal death on the cross for us to have eternal life. So that is the uh, summary of this algorithm for salvation. Now, the question is, what is God's requirement for us to be saved? Very easy. We have to believe and we will be saved. Now, what is belief? Belief is also intellectual belief. Belief is obeying God, is following God. Just imagine, what in this world is more important than salvation? If God wants us to be saved, God loves us, God uh, postponed judgment for us so that we can understand salvation, so that we can change our ways. What is so much important, more important than salvation? Of course, if you just understand eternity, God wants you to live eternity instead of just 70 years, 80 years, 50 years. God wants you to live forever, not in this sinful world, but in heaven where there is no suffering and sorrow, no tears, no crying, no death. So if you just understand what God wants to give you, to give us, nothing is very hard. If God says, thou shalt not kill, we are not going to kill. So God in, uh, God put laws. And these laws, we obey them because we love God. The Bible says, if you love me, keep my commandments. So we obey God's laws because they are laws. But aside from that, we obey them because we know that God loves us. It is our reaction to salvation. We are not saved by obeying the law. Although we can be saved from going to jail if we, obey the, if we obey the law. But we are not saved eternally from obeying the law. You know why? Because eternal, our sin, is greater than our obedience to the law. And one sin is equivalent, will get us to death. And how many sins do you have committed? Can we pay back? It is impossible. Only God's righteousness, infinite righteousness, can pay back for all our sins. That is why we need God, we need Jesus Christ, we need to believe. And out of this belief, the proof that we have changed, that we are saved, is good works. There is no faith, no grace that does not result in good works. Understand? So that is the summary of the problem of sin, the problem of death, the original, uh, the goal, which is to put us back to the original plan the role of God as a creator as a salve, uh, savior and the only solution to our sin problem and the goal which is for us to live eternally if you want to learn more my friend I invite you to read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation but if it is a little bit hard for you I also invite you to read the book the great controversy it has been translated to more than 30 languages all around the world distributed if you want a free copy you can google it it's floating around the internet in pdf form and in html form in all imaginable formats it is there the great controversy by ellen g white it lays out the the origin of sin what happened in heaven what happened on earth what is happening now until jesus second coming when he is going to get the people the righteous people who have accepted him as personal savior and who when he is going to judge the people who do not accept the solution to that uh, sin problem i hope you will read this book or read at least some chapters of this book to get an idea about the solution to our problem have a nice day